for all mankind. Outside the United Nations Aviation Agency in Montreal, calls are growing for Iran's representative, Farhad Parvaresh, to be expelled. Right now, he is living in Montreal. And uh, he is a part of, uh, he is a member of this organization. And uh, we cannot believe that. Mohammed Aminya's fiance died on flight PS752 almost three years ago. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps shot down the plane, killing 176 people. Most lived in Canada. The families are fed up that this agency's council hasn't condemned it or kicked Parvaresh out. Their silence, their inaction, we cannot toler tolerate it anymore. I think this man should be expelled from Canada and from this organization. Their demands have this Liberal MP and chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee's support. Given uh, some of the facts that have emerged uh, regarding uh, the Iranian envoy at the IKO, uh, that we should be uh, imposing uh, severe restrictions uh, on his movements in uh, Montreal. Iranian media outside the country have alleged that while Parvaresh was the head of Iran Air, he used the civilian airline to assist Iran's Quds Force. Canada has declared the Quds a terrorist organization. CBC News has not independently verified those allegations. In the statement, Parvaresh said, I have never had any sort of connection with Quds Force. The transport minister told CBC's Power and Politics the government's weighing its options. There's a lot of work being done and I'm not going to preempt an answer to a question uh, where we're looking at all tools that we have at our disposal. Al Gabra's office said that the government is obligated to provide diplomatic immunities and privileges to Iran's representative and that if it were to expel him from the country that could put Canada's neutrality into question as a host state for this UN agency. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.